guys, I am in SF. I flew in yesterday after a 14 hour flight. I was seriously jet lagged yesterday, so I didn't film at all, but I am in SF for the next two weeks because I'm speaking at a conference for work. Yesterday I had a mental breakdown because I went through this whole debacle of realizing that my Citibank card was expired. I called the help center probably over 15 times and every time my reception was bad as well and I was on international data roaming and the line would just drop out as I was talking to the customer service agent and then I have to call back and get back in the queue and wait for them again and then like talk to someone new and explain my whole situation again. So it was super frustrating. Luckily I think I have got it set up now so I can actually pay for things which is nice. This was all I bought. I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I got some cinnamon raisin bagels and I got some share tea because that was all the money that I had. I didn't even have dinner yesterday. I just had no appetite. <sighs> so don't get me wrong, I am so grateful for this opportunity. It's just tough. <laughs> I'm introverted, I'm shy, I'm like pigeon brained, so I'm scared of the world. And yeah, it's a lot of growing to do. I wake up, I don't wanna make my bed, I'll save up all my energy. I just went to Starbucks. I got an iced latte, decaf, skim, hazelnut. It was complicated. She didn't really understand me. I also don't know if I was supposed to leave a tip. I really feel like I should have, but there was no opportunity to. And I don't know if I'm supposed to just ask them. I'm just going to work here for a couple of hours and then Around lunchtime, I'm gonna go into the office and I have a few meetings. I'm meeting someone from the US to talk about Slack apps and then I am meeting with Matt, my uh, marketing manager, to go through our talk. And then in the afternoon, I have some Sydney-based meetings, so it'll be good to see the team again. For the energy I have inside. To the office! And I can't find a way to just ignore it And I can't really take it anymore First, I grabbed some lunch from the cafeteria. There were hot healthy options like beef pasta and roasted veggies. There's my cool team merch and I sat in a booth next to a great view of the San Francisco city. You can see the moment here where I realize I don't have my phone on me anymore and I ended up leaving it right next to the pastas. So after I retrieved it, I ate my lunch, and then I wistfully looked at all the strangers eating in their groups in the office. I just had lunch by myself, that's okay. And now I am about to go into a meeting with someone over Zoom just to talk about our Slack apps. I found this room, luckily, because it's a really big room, and so I've just booked it out for like the next two hours because Right after this meeting, I am going to catch up with Matt and do our practice run throughs for our talk. So yeah, be in here for the next like few hours, I think. A little bit lonely. This is going to be my first human contact of the day. I'm Matt and it's my job to bring Atlas to market. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm a product manager on Atlas and it's my job to solve problems for customers like you. Since I feel like I'm more scared to go out at night than in the day just to look around. It's about 3.40 right now and my meeting with my teammate is at around 5. I might go out for the next hour just to have a walk and then I will get back online afterwards when it's kind of like later in the night and I'm more stuck in my hotel room to do more work. I just wanted to show the office gym. And then I passed by the Crunchyroll office I saw a Waymo car on the road as well, which was cool. And I didn't wander too far. I ended up going to the north face down the road. So cute. I like these shirts as well. I'm so excited. I just bought not one, but two bags from the North Face just then. I actually bought this 
borealis tote i was looking at this one online but i like the pattern because it's some international women's day edition and it was 55 us dollars i think and i signed up for like the newsletter so i got 10 percent off on that so then 55 dollars i think is under 100 still when i was gonna buy this on the iconic for 140 back home so now I have a cute tote and it also turns into a backpack if I need. So that's my new work bag. And then I was like, oh, if I get 10% off anyway, I bought this new crossbody bag because you guys know how much I'm into crossbody bags, but it's so cute. It's a puffer bag oh, and it's pretty chunky. It's a lot bigger than my usual crossbody bags which is why i liked it because it can fit a lot more things yeah so cute. cute and it is it was 70 dollars, so it was like kind of expensive but then i was like oh if i get 10 percent off anyway it's technically 63 us dollars which meant that I think it's just like about 100 to 110 ish for this bag, which I think is quite expensive still. But I was looking for it online, couldn't find it anywhere else anyway, so there you go. Won't make it any easier if you need to stop dreaming by you. So I've, been I've never seen a, an Atlassian ad in public. Oh, really? After work, Matt took me to Mission to have a burrito because he lived in SF for 10 years, so he was familiar with the area. He took me on the train, which I wouldn't have done alone. It's not that busy right now. That's good. <laughs> yes, yeah, the street members are there. Well, when I was here on Saturday, going to Berkeley, like, that, this is full of people yeah. doing drugs. <laughs> The mission area was interesting, some really nice sunsets, other parts of it felt a little scary. We had burritos here, I got a chicken burrito with chips and salsa, and the exchange rate right now is awful, so my $16 burrito turned out to be almost 30 Australian dollars. I've been finding that everything is super expensive once you do exchange rates because you also need to add tax and tips on top of the base price. So I can really see why they say it is so expensive to live in San Francisco. I'm home again. I had a considerably better day than yesterday. And it was really nice to be able to go out after work and see a little bit of the city properly. Yeah, I would say today was a great day and it is now time to sleep. See you tomorrow. Morning. Today I am headed to Chase Centre to do a dry run through of our presentation, which is going to be tomorrow. So I'm going to head there now. I had Phil's coffee in the morning, bought nice tea, and it was such a beautiful day. The Chase Centre is in Mission Bay, which felt like a really nice area. And going inside to see everything being set up was exciting, it all felt very grand and we got to check out the stage we'd be presenting on and then we had some time to practice on the stage with lights and sound and clickers. We also got to see the corridors within Chase Centre where the team travels backstage and it's really cool to think that this is where huge NBA stars play even though I'm not the biggest basketball fan. That's the, is that the smaller one? So in the middle, so on the left, is the old part of the bridge. Yeah. And then in the middle is Treasure Island. They rebuilt the second half, which connects to Oakland and uh, Berkeley, um, because it wasn't earthquake safe. After lunch, I met our team's new data analyst in person for a coffee. She was awesome. And then I worked some more in the office.
For a break, I took a walk to Walgreens where I bought some supplies. I got makeup wipes, Dramamine for my flight, and cleanser for when I'm traveling. What a day. I am back in the room now. It's like 5.36, so I think tonight I'll probably just order in, to be honest. Yeah, I've been told like not really to go out by myself late at night, so kind of limits the options that I have for dinner. Tomorrow is the conference day, so I need to get a good night's rest, probably practice my talk one more time before I go out there, and yeah, should all be okay. I know this looks kind of sad, but I'm pretty excited for this. I got Uber Eats, and it's a bowl of warm, comforting noodles, and guess how much this was? I paid just then like 28 US dollars. I converted that to Australian dollars. This is $40. Ah! And I'll show you what I got. So it's a bowl of rice noodles. I don't even think that has any meat in it now that I'm thinking about it. And a tea egg, $40. Okay, never mind, it does have meat. There was soup on the bottom that I just didn't see and I had to lift like that thing and then tip the noodles into the soup and it has meat and eggs in it. Also, I spend some time in the evenings watching live TV and for some reason there's just this one channel where Shark Tank is always on. Like episode after episode of Shark Tank. So, while I'm eating, I thought I would share some thoughts with you guys. I feel like we romanticize traveling solo a lot, and I think it definitely can be a lot of fun. Yeah, I guess you don't always see the other side of traveling alone. You get nights like these, where I'm just alone in a hotel room, eating my noodles from Uber Eats. I wish that living alone was as beautiful as Michelle Choi's vlogs. I do really want to be home with Lucas and my friends and my family, so a bit sad. <laughs> you just got to try, look at all the positives and the opportunities and the experiences that I'm having that are new and go out there, take photos, do all those sorts of things, make the most of it. <laughs> 